Hey guys, it's Elena and today I have another cloth diaper video for you. Today we're going to be talking about some fruit of the womb pre-flats. If you are interested in pre-flats, I also have a video about all the ones that I own and kind of comparing each of them. So I will leave a link down that down below to that video if you want to see other pre-flats in action. They're kind of like newish to the market and they're a very interesting little concept. So anyway, I have the fruit of the womb ones. I have two different kinds and I want to get this right exactly which ones I have. So I have my receipt here on my phone. There are several different options on her website, so I want to make sure that I tell you specifically which ones I have. So I have the Twist Winged Perfect Fit Pre Flat in the size three, and then I also have the Extra Large Winged Perfect Fit Perfect Fit Pre Flat, also in the size three. So I have the Twist and the Extra Large. So I do have size three in either one of these. You can see our little number threes on the tags. I bought these when Bear was very tiny and he is now over a year old and they fit him great. Um, they were fitting him when he was a little bit smaller. I bought them bigger um, just in case, you know, just to kind of get my money's worth out of them. They are a little bit pricey, um, but a lot of pre-flats can be more on the pricey side. I, I see them as more of like a luxury cloth diaper item. They're made by a lot of stay-at-home, work-at-home moms, and so they can end up costing you a little bit more, just FYI. I would not say pre-flats are like something you want to make your entire stash out of. That would get pretty pricey, but they are nice to have if you like the idea of wrapping and folding a diaper around baby, but you're kind of intimidated by like flats and don't want to learn like how to actually do a flat fold. So anyway, let's get into it. So I owned them when Bear was little. This, um, the regular twist one was pretty good on him even when he was tiny. Now this XL, this extra large guy, was very, very bulky on him when he was tiny. Only up probably since he was like nine, 10 months old did I really start using this on him and felt like it fit him okay because the extra large one is extra large. Like it just has a bigger flap to fold in and I will show you footage of me folding up the extra large one so you can see how big the flap is and how I like to fold it on to work for Barrett at this age. I did do absorbency tests on both of these. We can get a cup and a quarter of absorbency out of the regular twist one, and I can get over two cups in this extra large one. So a cup and a quarter is my bare minimum personally for what I would call like, you know, just the basic amount of absorbency you want to see in a diaper. So it fits that. I would like it to have a little bit extra. Um, I do tend to, I like to see a cup and a half to a cup and three quarters in a single diaper, but a cup and a quarter is fine if you have a light slash averagey wetter kiddo. And pre-flats make it super easy to boost. You can add any kind of random little insert that you have around the house. You can even use like little um, hand towel, not like big hand towels, but little like washcloths and stuff like that to boost up the absorbency a little bit inside of the pre-flat and they make it super easy to fold it right into that center part. Now for the extra large with the two cups of absorbency, you may be able to get away with this for an overnight diaper. Two cups is usually what I like to see for an overnight diaper for an average wetter kiddo. It would have worked perfectly fine for my middle boy. He was very average wetter all across the board. It probably wouldn't have worked for my older, my oldest son. He was like a really heavy wetter, especially at nighttime. And my littlest Barrett is starting to become a heavy wetter overnight as well. So. He is about 50-50 in this guy. Sometimes it'll work perfectly fine for him, but sometimes he does like flood out of it. He saturates the entire thing and can even have leaks with it with two cups, but he is starting to become a heavy wetter all of a sudden out of nowhere. <laughs> if you have an average wetter, you should be able to get away with this overnight if you really wanted to for the XL. The thing I really like about these Fruit of the Womb ones are the shape of the wing here. It kind of just has like an angle to it instead of being a little wing that's just kind of like plopping off the side here. I like that it has a nice little angle and I just feel like it fits around the hips. It feels more secure. It feels like it has more coverage. I just really like that design feature of this guy. I do feel like they are like two layers together that have been surged all around the edges here. Um, so it is, it's not like big and bulky. Preflats are great if you don't like big fluffy diapers on babies. Preflats make a really nice trim little diaper on babies. So I do like them for being thin and trim like that, but it still just feels like fluffy enough. You know, like I don't want something that feels like it's 
a sheet or a t-shirt, you know. I want something that has a little bit of a bulk to it, and these guys do have that. Plus, um, just this, you're not going to ever have it, like, single across, baby. You're going to be folding in these sections, so you're tripling up the absorbency in the P section of baby. So, yeah, they just, they feel like a nice little thickness. They're not too big and bulky. They're very trim. They look great on baby. But the XL is definitely a little bit fluffier. You can see, I'll just hold them up side by side so you can see exactly how how much fluffier the XL is compared to the little um, original twist one. So side by side here. So side by side here we have the twist and the XL and they're very different thicknesses as you can see. So I consider them like daytime diaper, nighttime diaper. Now I do really love the shape of these guys compared to other pre-flats that I have tried. If you watch that video comparing all the pre-flats that I've tried over this past year, you'll see that these are in my top favorites just for like the shape of the wing and the way that it fits around baby. But keep in mind, I have the size three of these. so They're a little bit bigger on my kiddo than like some of the other brands that have like a one size kind of fits all kind of situation that could start to start to look a little smaller on a kiddo as he gets bigger and bear being right over a year old right around 20 pounds these guys are still looking a little bit big on him but they fit fine so yeah overall I really love these guys they are a little bit on the pricey side like I said they are a luxury cloth diaper item I would not say to create your entire stash out of these because it's gonna cost a lot of money but if you like the idea of them if you have been seeing pre flats all over the place and you just don't know where to start these are actually really nice ones and I would I would totally recommend picking them up if you are kind of interested in checking out pre flats and you're not afraid of the price tag if you have it in your budget to like kind of splurge a little bit on a diaper that you really really want I would totally say that these are a great option so I know this was a quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was somewhat helpful for you. Check out that other video about my other pre-flats that I've tried. I will leave a link down below. If you have any other cloth diaper video suggestions, let me know down below. If you've tried this particular brand, let us know which ones are your favorites because I know she has several different options on her site. And yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>